is not a collaboration. Like, it's not a collaboration. You're buying their product and you're getting them free promotions. We'll give you 20% off if you buy a pro No, and you have to pay for shipping? No, like, know your worth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mo, and she's back at it again with another video. It's been so long since my last video. I'm so sorry to keep you all waiting. I know you guys have been asking me so many questions regarding Instagram content, how to work with brands, how to take pictures. This first video will be um, basically how to work with brands. So whether you have 1K followers, if you have like 10 followers, I'm going to provide some tips for you guys so that way you can work with brands also. So if you want to get free clothes, if you want to get sponsored posts, you want to get reposted by brands, um, just stay tuned and I'll let you guys know all the information. Um, before we continue, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I swear I'm going to be more consistent. So guys, like, please like because I need to keep this going, man. I need to, I need to make this content for you guys. So yes, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And let's get started with all these tips. Let's get right into it. I'm going to briefly talk about, um, I guess, how I started to work with brands and basically some tips that I learned along the way. Um, so I started working with brands actually this year. Um, I think around, I was like 11K followers. Um, so in the past, I've been always taking pictures of my outfits, tagging brands, um, but I was always too scared to reach out to them because I was like, they're gonna say no, they're gonna reject me, like, yeah. But, um, I was like, you know what, I wanna freaking work with all these brands too. I see all these influencers and baddies with their sponsored posts, hashtag ads, so I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be my change, like, I wanna do this too. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sit down finish my media kit and send all these damn emails and see what happens. So um, I started sending out some emails and now I'm working with brands such as like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, Boohoo. So, and you can work with all these brands too, even if you have a small following. So I think the first step that you should focus on is ask yourself why you want to work with brands. Um, figure out what your niche is, what you want to do, if that's like fashion, sports, fitness, like food even like there's food influencers wine influencers like figure out what exactly you want to do and what you want to accomplish because if you do start doing it it's like you want to make sure that you're working for a brand that you actually like and you're not just doing it for free stuff because for me i guess i would consider myself a fashion influencer so companies would send me clothes i would style them and that's kind of like my niche so my page is all fashion um, but a lot of people have different stuff like food you can reach out to different food companies furniture lifestyle like there's so many like and people think that you can't reach out because you have 1k followers but that's not true at all because brands are looking at engagement more than anything you could have a million followers but if those followers don't do anything they don't really comment on your stuff and not engage then it's like what's the point so I feel like brands are looking at smaller influencers because they actually have an audience that trusts their opinion and value them as well. So um, if you do want to get into it and you're scared that your following is not big enough, just freaking send the email. Like, I think people need to realize that it doesn't matter if you do have a small following, you can reach out to these companies too. And that's what turned for me as well because I was always like, I can't like make it like I only have like five k. No, honey, you can still send emails whether your following is low or not because brands will actually want to work with you more because you have a higher engagement. Um, and if you're not too sure about engagement, we'll get into that later as well. But that's kind of like my brief <laughs> spiel on it. Um, so let me just talk about the tips on what you can do first, and then we'll dive into other stuff. So. So I think um, the most important thing is find your niche, find out why you want to work with these companies, what is your, um, I guess, what do you call yourself? Are you fashion, fitness, food, wine, whatever? So figure that out first. Next, you wanna make sure your content is like, like 10 out of 10. Like if you don't have a following, focus on making um, the best content you can because that's what brands see. That's their first impression of what you um, provide for them. So it's basically like your resume for a brand. So if they, if you reach out to them and you want to work with them and they look at your Instagram and the quality is not the best, they're like, how are you going to promote my product when your quality is not, you know, up to our standards. So I think one of the most important things is to make sure your content is like A1 because 
even if you have a low following and your content is like this, they're gonna want to choose you over someone that has like 10 million followers and their quality is not even that great. So honestly, find your niche, find out exactly what you want to do. Second, your content has to be A1. I get a lot of questions about how I take so many pictures and how do I stay consistent. Figure out a couple days a week that you can just dedicate to, take, to making content, taking pictures. Um, I'll have my outfits packed in the car and just drive around places, get my friend to come with me or my sister or whoever, have them take my pictures and then I can post throughout the week. So even if you are doing cooking, like have a dedicated day that you make certain meals a, a day or something. So in fitness, even with working out, try to figure out a certain day that you can work out and then the next day film or something. So figure out exactly what you want to do. That way your content can be like freaking bam and then these companies will be like i want to work with you honey yeah please make sure that your content is like up 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 once you establish what you want to do what your niche is and once you figure out i guess the brands you want to work with um i would say make a list of brands that you do want to work with and their values do in line with yours so i guess the best thing about social media is you literally have access to everyone i don't think people realize that you have access to everyone even if they don't read your dms like you're still sending it to somebody like your dms are still going places so if you're choosing companies to work with like put nike put those top brands that you don't think you necessarily will work with but honey you can work with them change your mindset like you need to make sure that you if you're getting into this that you're confident and that you can do this like you have to push yourself so once you figure out um what your niche is once you make sure your content is up to standard once you figure out what brands you want to work with, now it's like, okay, so how do I approach these brands? And then next is you want to engage with all the brands that you're working with. So before even sending out an email, you want to kind of have that relationship with the brand already. So um, what I do before I reach out to a brand or a brand I generally like, I always like their post. I always comment on their post. For me, if I work with a brand and I like their stuff, like I'm going to comment something genuine. Like I love how this shirt goes with these jeans or something or this is how i wear that shirt just put something a little bit more different because obviously everyone wants to be an influencer everyone wants to work with those brands so you want to make sure you're standing out from all those other people um so engage like engage 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 like their stuff put on the notifications and like comment on their stuff that way um you can kind of build that relationship so if so if you do send an email they'll probably recognize your name more than someone that just sends an email so if that makes sense um so once you're engaging uh with these brands next thing to do is the pitch a couple of things that i searched even before i started sending emails is making sure it's short and sweet um you kind of want to introduce yourself say why you like the brand obviously but you want to make sure you stand out from all these other influencers that are sending stuff over so if you do have a media kit which is basically your resume for a brand um i would make sure to attach that um say something genuine about their company like normally before i work with brands i research their missions and values because not a lot of people are gonna mention like oh like i love how your mission is this for the company like i don't know it's just different because all these other influencers are coming in like what's gonna make you stand out and that way they'll choose you even with my titles like i try to put something that stands out so people are like oh like what's this email about it's just me introducing myself saying i want to work with you so so basically once you figure out um your pitch your media kit all that jazz and you want to reach out to brands um also i forgot to mention if you want to reach out to them through dm you can also do that like i've got collaborations through reaching out through dms um you just want to make sure it's i guess the same thing like a little bit different what you're saying in there um but that way it's a little bit easier for brands to actually click on your profile because in email they have to click through this link and look through this 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 and obviously not everyone has the time and they might miss your email so dms they're always going through obviously because if they're like checking orders and stuff like they're most likely going to see your message so if you do send a DM, the same thing, make it short and sweet, introduce yourself, talk about why you love the brand, but you don't want to put too, too much in there. So what happens after you send the email and you are patiently waiting for a response? In this time, 
you need to keep posting content because in the beginning I was so nervous of getting a no and you know what I got a lot of notes in the beginning because I guess I don't know if I was saying the right thing or they didn't like my content I don't know but you have to be consistent like even I think a couple years ago I was reaching out to different brands um, I'll insert a little screenshot of a brand that I was trying to work with um, and I just kept messaging over and over and over again. They're like, you know what, let's give this girl a chance. So now I'm finally working with them. So these brands, you have to be consistent. Like even with emails, like every time I wake up, I need to send like a hundred emails a day because there's so many brands, there's so many influencers, like you wanna be on top of it. And especially if you want to grow as quickly as possible, you need to be sending your emails. You need to be waking up early to make content. Like you really have to be on your stuff and it's not like it's a nine to five job where someone's telling you, okay, time to post. Like you have to make your own content schedule and post every single day or whatever your timeline is. And it's a lot of work, but you need to push yourself if you wanna grow. So let me quickly go over the steps. So to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So step one is your niche. So figure out what exactly you want to do and why. Next is your content. Make sure your content is up to because that is basically your business, not business. That is basically your resume for your account. Number three is figure out the brands that you want to work with and why do you want to work with them? Look at their missions, look at their values, see if they align with your values as well. Four is the pitch. So that is making sure you're reaching out to these brands. Um, and then it doesn't stop there, honey. Like you need to be consistent with this because every day is a new day, like, and you're the only one kind of pushing yourself for this. So if you really want to work with brands, like you need to be sending emails constantly, sending DMs constantly until you get to that place where it's like people are like reaching out to you. So it's gonna take some time and you're gonna get rejected. I got rejected so many times and then they come back a month later saying, oh, we love to work with you. So so hopefully that's a good starter to, I guess, reaching out to brands. Um, I wanna go in more depth in each step. So if you do have questions or even if you wanna DM me, like I have people DMing me and I reply, I send voice notes, like whatever you need help with, like I'm here to help you because I went through it and it took me so long to kind of figure out how to work with these brands so yes if you need any insight on that please feel free to message me or comment below All these steps as well will help you to grow so it's not even just like working with brands if you want to grow your instagram for your business for yourself awareness anything like that th these steps will also help you for i guess life <laughs> so i think people need to realize that followers like they do mean something, but it's not like, it's really all about your engagement connection with your audience. So please make sure that's your main focus because getting all these followers doesn't mean anything if they're not even going to engage with you. So I'd say work on building that connection first before you even jump into it. And there's so many videos on YouTube that shows people how to take pictures and to edit photos. Like literally use the internet to your advantage because a lot of the stuff that I learned from my pictures is I'm looking at other people that are doing it. So the best thing about starting right now is because so many other people have their content out there. Like you can not necessarily copy that, but use that for inspiration, like Pinterest, um, even for outfit ideas and stuff like that. So use all these tools that showcase that because it's going to help you in the long run. And even videos like this, videos that say like, you can even type it in Google, like how to email a brand, how to pitch for a brand like everything is on the internet so all the things that I learned is because I literally just watched a billion videos and just made notes the whole time so another tip I would suggest is you're gonna get a lot of those brands that will be asking you to pay for a product to promote that is not a collaboration like it's not a collaboration you're buying their product and you're getting them free promotion so please don't accept these we'll give you 20% off if you buy a no and you have to pay for shipping no like know your worth like don't follow these smaller brands that are giving you 10 percent. obviously not all of them are like scams but a lot of them that comment saying like collab with us i dm this person no no i know my worth baby so yeah i really want to do more videos like this because i've learned so much the last couple of months and i'm like okay where do i share it so let me share it to you guys let me give you the insight um, again, if you need help, literally send me a DM message. Like, I'm so open to doing this. Um, and I want to do more videos like this so you guys can understand and get more insight. Again, 
it doesn't even have to be Instagram. You can apply this to your business and other things too. So on that note, um, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you want me to go in depth, if I'm talking too fast, let me know. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, you can follow my Instagram right here. Um, send me a DM if you actually watch the video and then I'll like communicate with you. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.